out here getting some numbers off a truck today for a new customer. Got an International 4300 here with a DT 466. Oil cooler in this truck's bad. So, grabbing some numbers off it so I can get a hold of Rush. We'll see about getting an oil cooler for this thing, getting it coming. Gonna go ahead and change the oil, give it a coolant flush, and this thing should be good to go. Also, while we're here, we've got this Freightliner M2. This thing is on hydraulic brakes. He had another guy come out here and try to do front brakes on it, and they ended up blowing out the front left caliper. So, we're also gonna grab numbers off this truck, and uh, we'll get brake parts sorted. This will come from Steep's Freightliner. So, these two are gonna be our main projects. We've also got a Princeton piggyback here. Um, it does not run. He was told by another technician that needs a motor, but he's not overly confident in their diagnosis on it. So we'll be taking a look at that for him too. Um, they're really not that bad to work on. So everything unbolts off the top. You have access through the top. The engine sits sideways in there and it just drives a hydraulic pump on the back. And then you also have access through the side here. So once you can take it apart, they're actually pretty easy to get into. But we're going to get the info off these. We'll get some quotes together and hopefully in the next week or two here, we'll be hopping on these and getting these done. Um, also, I think I'm going to Blythefield this year now. Uh, I was talking to Dad about it yesterday. Looks like I'll be going out there for the bus rally. So any of you guys are going to be out there, you can come see the bus grease monkey and me. We should both be there for Blytheville. So, if you guys can be there, let me know in the comments. We'll see about meeting up while we're out there. So I hopped over on the Freightliner here. Look at the brake leaks so I can figure out what we need to get. Whoever just did the brakes on it, they broke the brake line off and they can't get the, bleed, or the piece of the line out of the caliper. The caliper's in pretty rough shape, so it's gonna need a flex line. I looked at the bleeder on it it's not looking all that great so we're gonna go ahead and replace the caliper the line on this side but I need to get my service truck and roll it back here because I need to see if I can break the bleeder loose on the other side uh, if I can't we might just go ahead and do both calipers but I've got my service truck parked all the way back up at the gate so I'll have to go grab that real quick put some easy jobs while I'm here get these quoted for them this one take no time at all oil cooler on the DT they're not bad they're just a little tight in there so we'll get that done and go from there so we're heading back right now from uh, that place we just looked at those two box trucks on the way over here I heard an alarm going off and then I saw IMPD rolling down the street I guess a minute or two before we got up here someone robbed the liquor store at gunpoint they fired a couple shots luckily they're a terrible shot and didn't hit anybody but always keep an eye out when you're in, you know, less than good neighborhoods. You know, you never know what you're going to run into out here. So, I mean, this part of town, I won't work in at night. Um, at least not by myself. You always want a second person to keep eyes out here. So, you know, when you're out on the road working, be, be careful. Know the areas you're going to before you go to them. You know, this is the east side of Indy. I mean, this isn't even the worst part of town. We're over at 38th and Arlington. I mean, this, this has nothing on Hallville at night. But... Just, you know, keep an eye on where you're working. Know your surroundings. Know what the neighborhoods are like. You know, you don't want to end up being the one who's getting robbed out here. So, you know, I always got to be careful when you're out here working. Almost forgot to mention, uh, go check out the community tab on my YouTube channel here. I posted a video from Chris. He finally started a YouTube channel for his shop. So, first video was up last night. Making a tool to uh, do a clutch adjustment on an old Ford Jubilee tractor. So check it out. I know I talked to him earlier today. He said he's getting a video together for today with what he's working on in the shop. So even more content there if you guys are into some shop work. 